If you've seen some of my shorts, you know that I like to run boosters off power supplies and change the voltage so that I can boost boosters. So three volts. The problem with this is I always have to have this and a connection to mains power, but I had an idea. What if I could battery power them if I could get this open with a USB power bank? But these things supply usually about five volts. I want to be able to vary that. So here's my idea. This in here is a USB powered buck boost converter. So we can plug the power bank in here and on the outputs, we should be able to run the voltage at different levels using this little, I guess it's a, I'm not sure what it is, but this little encoder, be it a potentiometer or whatever else, should allow us to deliver different voltages to this. The ones I bought, I think are three amps. I'll have to check though. But here's what I'm thinking. I should be able to connect a battery. I can figure out which way this goes. A battery to this. And this, we can adjust. Take that down to about three volts. We should be able to connect this to the booster. So let's try that. Let's test how accurate this is. Okay, it says it's three volts. Yep, it's about three volts. It's pretty good. Cut these roughly in half. Love these wire strippers, they're very handy. Don't know what I ever did without automatic wire strippers. Ground is the bottom. All right, let's see if it works. Let's take it back down to three volts. Okay, three volts, turn it on and see if it'll go. And it runs. Let's turn it up. Six volts. Oh, it's stopping out at six volts. Unfortunately, once we get to just shy of six volts, it seems to go into some sort of current protection. So I don't know if it's the battery that just can't supply enough current, or whether this has got current protection, but it's meant to be able to run three amps. So we'll have to do a little bit of problem solving there. But for now, this is a, a quick little simple solution to at least get about uh, three to four and a half volts on your boosters without having to carry around a power supply. Let's test it on a track. Before I show you the track test, I figured out the problem. This is not rated at three amps. It's actually rated at three watts. So at six volts, the most it'll put out is half an amp. So if we go and look at a booster, a booster at three volts, So at three volts, it was doing about half an amp. Now that's uh, 1.5 watts. So here's the problem. If we run this booster at six volts, we get about 1.1 amps. So that is uh, over six watts, six times one, 1.1, 1 .1, so it's about 6.6 .6 watts. So that's why this won't run this 
at that point, it could get to somewhere around five, five and a half volts before it had a problem. So five, five volts is about 0.9 amps. That's four and a half watts. I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, this was still managed to go at four and a half watts when it's rated for three. But yeah, I guess they, they underquote just a little, uh, just to make sure that you get what you pay for. Let's try it at three volts. go up to 3.5 volts. Ooh. See if we can make it work on the simple oval track. To start at three volts again. Three volts. Struggling to push solid muscle at three volts. Let's turn it up. 3.5 volts. Still struggles a little bit with solid muscle at three and a half volts. Let's push it to four, four volts. Whoa, broke out. Just barely pushes solar muscle at four volts. Let's try four and a half. I think we could push it harder, but I'm not going to right now. This is really nice to just be able to tune the voltage in at least uh, for different cars on different tracks. So as you can see, not all cars work well on a given setup. I had three different cars here and they all struggled with different voltages. So it's good to be able to tune it. Um, but I've learned something about cars too. Not every car is good for, for a given track. Anyway, let's try something different next time. See if we can get one that goes to a higher voltage so we can do super boosts.